Hi all. Today we are going to see a question from Gate 2017, Mechanical Paper 1, question number 14. So a particle of unit mass is moving on a plane. So its trajectory in polar coordinates is given by uh, these functions r of t and theta of t. So where t is your time, so you are supposed to find what is the kinetic energy of the particle at time t is equal to 2. So you are given uh, 4 options. So before proceeding into the problem, if you want to know more details about uh, uh, motion of a particle in uh, curvilinear coordinates, basically these are curvilinear coordinates. Basically these are curvilinear coordinates. So if you want to know more details about uh, this concept, please check out uh, this NPTEL lecture by Professor Mahesh from IIT Madras. So let's go ahead uh, with this problem. Assume that uh, you are having some mass uh, as shown as green color. So it is at uh, some distance r and uh, based on these coordinates it's at uh, inclination theta. So its motion will be governed by this r and theta. So you can represent that motion using two coordinates uh, e theta and e r where e theta and e r are the, actually the unit vectors. So using these uh, vectors you can represent the velocity in this particular uh, functions. So you can check out the NPTEL lecture uh, about how did we arrive at this formula for velocity. So using this velocity you can derive what is the kinetic energy of the particle in this particular form. So let's see how do we derive this kinetic energy from this velocity. So now uh, you are having this velocity. So you can write your kinetic energy as half m into your v vector dot v, v vector. So it's a dot product. So that means your this will be half m into your dot product of this vector into the same vector. So, so now when you take the dot product, uh, here it will be like a um, multiplication property you can apply. So you can write you will get uh, one term like this and you will get uh, one term which is going to be theta dot square so you will get uh, a term like this so rest of the terms which is uh, cross multiplied will be either uh, it will be e r dot e theta or e theta dot e r so now you can see that uh, they are at uh, 90 degree to each other so they are perpendicular to each other your e r and e theta so therefore this terms will become zero their dot product will become zero and this dot product will become one because they are at 90 degree so that means you will get the final form as this so this is how you actually find the final form so now let's utilize this form to find the answer so now let's find what is r a dot so your r dot is dr by dt basically so again d by dt of t square that you will get it as 2t what what is your theta dot again again uh, d theta by dt that is again d by dt of your theta is t so that you are going to get 1 so therefore you can finally write it as your kinetic energy is equal to half m into your 2t square plus uh, r r which is your t square into theta dot so that is again yeah so finally you can write it as half m into 4t square plus uh, t raised to 4 now you are supposed to find what is its kinetic energy at t is equal to 2 so at t is equal to 2 your kinetic energy is going to be half m into 
4 into 2 square plus 2 raised to 4. So if you see the question, uh, you can see that the particle is actually unit mass. Therefore, your m is actually 1. So this will be actually 1. So when you finally solve this thing, you will get uh, your kinetic energy to be 16 Newton meter. So if you check the question, you can see that your, uh, your C is the correct answer. So if you want to know more details about uh, curvilinear coordinates, please check out the NPT lecture that I have referred. Uh, thank you.